Before getting to fame as one of the biggest names in fast food history, Colonel Harlan Sanders lived a fascinating and inspiring life story, which we'll look through in this video. At the age of six, Colonel Sanders faced the heartbreaking loss of his father. His mother, tasked with providing for the family, worked long hours, leaving young Colonel Sanders responsible for caring for his siblings and managing the household. Remarkably, by age seven, he had already developed his culinary skills. At 10 years old, he already took on his first job on a farm. However, at 12, his mother remarried a man who didn't like the kids, making things really rough for the young Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders left school at just 13 years old, and he was able to land a job painting horse carriages. By the age of 15, he was proudly serving in the US Army. Then at 18, he tied the knot and started a family. Despite welcoming a son and two daughters, the unexpected loss of his son in early childhood led to the end of his marriage shortly after. Colonel Sanders spent the first half of his life hopping from one odd job to another. He tried his hand at selling insurance and tires, worked as a farmer, steamboat pilot, secretary and lawyer, and even operated on a ferry boat among many others. However, his tendency to switch jobs frequently led him to being fired quite regularly. Then, in 1930, Colonel Sanders was running a gas station in Corbin, Kentucky, when an unexpected opportunity presented itself. Travelers passing through voiced their frustration with the lack of good food options. Seeing the opportunity, the 40-year-old Colonel Sanders decided to start serving food to his gas station customers. Drawing upon recipes from his childhood, he started serving his delicious fried chicken and other dishes, which started what would later become one of the most sought foods in the fast food industry. With this, Colonel Sanders' cooking skills became so renowned that by 1936, he earned the prestigious title of Kentucky Colonel. Governor Ruby LaFoon gave this honor to him, recognizing Sanders' culinary talent and contributions to the food scene in Kentucky. In 1937, with his growing success, Colonel Sanders expanded with the launch of the Harlan Sanders Court and Cafe, a combined motel and restaurant capable of accommodating 142 diners. However, he faced the challenge with his famous fried chicken, which took a lengthy 30 minutes to cook. Determined to maintain both quality and efficiency, Colonel Sanders innovated by introducing a pressure cooker technique which reduced the cooking time to just eight to nine minutes. This allowed him to serve up more of his mouth-watering fried chicken without compromising its exceptional quality. By 1939, Colonel Sanders had figured out the secret recipe for his famous blend of 11 herbs and spices, a closely kept secret that remains unknown to this day. Although he kept the details under wraps, he did reveal that salt and pepper were part of the mix playfully suggesting that the other ingredients were every day and could be found in anyone's kitchen cupboard. Then during World War II, Colonel Sanders faced a setback in his business that presented some challenges to him. However, even in his 60s, he remained determined to succeed. At the age of 65, his restaurant went bankrupt, another major setback in his life. So for the first time, he found himself relying on social security benefits. He was retired and facing financial hardship, but he refused to abandon his dream and continued believing in his vision. With just his initial social security check of just $105, Colonel Sanders decided to sell his original restaurant in Corbin, Kentucky, and then went on a cross-country journey across the United States to find potential business partners to whom he could offer his secret recipe. This period proved to be one of the most challenging in his life. He had to be frequently in discussions with restaurant owners with franchise agreements where he would earn a commission of $0.04 for each piece of chicken sold. In exchange, he will offer training on how to recreate his recipe. While doing so, he had to endure living out of his car, scarce food supplies, and rejection after rejection. But surrendering was never on the table for him, despite facing rejection a thousand and nine times. It was after many setbacks that his chicken recipe was finally accepted by a single establishment. And a fun fact before we continue on the rest of Colonel Sanders' story. 
the iconic name Kentucky Fried Chicken that we all know today was actually coined by Pete Harmon, one of Colonel Sanders' franchisees. Then Don Anderson, a painter hired by Harmon, was actually the one who came up with his now famous moniker. Harmon made the company's identity by trademarking the phrase, it's finger licking good, which eventually became the official slogan of the company. By 1964, observing the quick expansion of franchises throughout the USA, Colonel Sanders decided to sell the KFC company. The business passed into the ownership of investors, led by John Y. Brown and Jack C. Massey, who purchased it for $2 million. Colonel Sanders' sale of the company was under the condition that the new owners maintain the quality of the food, providing him with a lifelong salary and preserving his role as the brand spokesperson. Sadly, Colonel Sanders departed this life in 1980, at the age of 90, leaving behind a legacy marked by extraordinary accomplishments. At the time of his passing, KFC had a network of 6,000 outlets spanning 48 countries and territories. Beyond his achievements in business, Colonel Sanders is the symbol and the notion that success can be accompanied by a compassionate spirit. His philanthropic efforts reached far and wide, giving millions to charitable causes, educational institutions, and healthcare facilities. Even in his final moments, the Colonel imparted wisdom, expressing, I never had any desire to be the richest man in the cemetery. From its modest beginnings as just a single restaurant, KFC has evolved into a strong force in the food industry, with over 25,000 outlets now spread across 147 territories and countries worldwide. KFC's journey, characterized by a secret recipe adored by millions of taste buds globally, shows the enduring legacy of Colonel Sanders. It's a testament that hopes and dreams can happen at any stage of life. As the iconic red and white buckets continue to stir cravings and fond memories for countless fans worldwide, KFC's Colonel Sanders' finger licking success story remains an inspiring story in the fast food industry. And through his story, we want you to know that regardless of the circumstances you may find yourself in at this moment, it's important to maintain faith in yourself. There will always be promising opportunities awaiting you, as long as you believe in your vision and talent, just as Colonel Sanders did for himself. So when it comes to KFC's menu, do you find yourself going towards the deliciously crispy chicken, perhaps paired with savory sides, or maybe opting for their iconic buckets? What's your favorite choice? Share your favorite KFC food in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, give this channel some support by clicking on the subscribe button. Stay updated on our upcoming content by hitting the notification bell so you'll always get notified on our next one. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.